reversing gear disassembly. All right. So beforehand, I tried to do a little, uh, a little stuff to make it quicker to take it apart. So most of you guys probably know what this is. This is the brake band, the gear case. Um, this is the rear flange. That's your output coupling, tail shaft nut, and you can see a locking washer right there. This is the tail shaft, um, and this is something. <laughs> I don't have all the terminology down, but the crankshaft would go in here. This would be inside the crankshaft or up against or uh, around the end of the uh, tail shaft or the forward end of the tail shaft. And um, on mine, it stayed in the crankshaft and I pulled it out of there, but it would be inside of here. Alright, so we're going to take it apart. And basically, this is going to be inside of a rear housing, and the oil pan is going to be underneath. So you see the tail shaft nut, or locking washer. This tab is usually going to be bent forward to prevent that nut from spinning. So. You straighten that out, and this takes a lot of force. I, I removed it beforehand to make this a fast video. Okay, so inside of here is a key. This key would be inside this groove, and you can see my tail shaft is uh, significantly damaged because I had the key shear off. Probably about half of it had sheared off and I replaced only half of it and over time um, it just wore down the tail shaft. So I have to replace the tail shaft. That's why I have um, this whole unit out right now. Um, this is the output coupling. To press it off they recommend you stick the three bolts back in there, tighten it up and it'll, you know, they'll push up against the rear flange and that output coupling will come off and then you'll you'll have this bearing and there's an oil seal in there that you can replace um, that's how you would replace the uh, the rear seal, that's the recommendation okay so to get the brake band off you would loosen this nut, or you remove this you take that spring clip off So this nut just holds this clip on, which prevents this from spinning. Now to get it off, you loosen it. Lefty, loosey, remember? That will spread this out, and it, this will be attached to um, the shifting lever. So you can remove this part. Now, here is the adjusting collar nut. When they talk about making a one notch adjustment, what they're talking about is backing this nut off, going clockwise one notch, turning the screw back down, and making sure that that screw is in that notch. Because if it's up against this collar, uh, it's likely going to break something. And I think this is what they're talking about it's going to break the uh, clutch plate. So, to get this thing apart, you take that off. You remove the fingers. Right, there's, there would be a cotter pin. There's three fingers. There would be a cotter pin um, pushed all the way in. And getting that cotter pin out is not easy. You try to straighten it out as much as possible. And I took a screwdriver and just pried it out and it came out like that. So remove the pin. And the fingers come out. You have to do that to all three fingers. Then at this point, you can see this thing will spin freely. Now, 
to get the tail shaft out, I, I, I've removed mine already. I had a machine shop do it, and I offered them a dollar to press it out, and they did. But to press it out, basically, you want to support it here and apply pressure to the end of the tail shaft here, which would be flush um, to that uh, propeller gear. So they put it on a big machine in this orientation, support it here. So you want this nut sort of flush here, support it here because this is going to have to come out. So you put it, support it there. They get a big press and pop it out, and then there it is. The tail shaft comes out. So these are keys that would hold that tail shaft in. Um, what I think is called the propeller gear. Um, it would go further in than that. But anyway, you get this out. I'm gonna have to replace my tail shaft. So you can see it looks pretty crappy. But it's been the uh, forward adjusting screw collar off and then you can just remove all the clutch plates and these seem to be held together I guess by oil suction or friction and this here is the propeller gear and inside here you can see those pinion gears there's some long ones and there's some short ones. And pretty much that would be it. Now to line it up, you can see the clutches have these grooves that would go into this gear. And you have to sort of arrange it because all the clutch plates have to go down there. So you sort of spin it. Can and get those grooves to line up. See that? In there, it's back together. So then you would put the reassemble, put it back on, get those fingers in there. Well, maybe you would want to put the tail shaft on first. That has to be pressed in again with a 12 ton press. So you get all the fingers back in. Right? Put the pins back in, put the cotter pins back in. And I think that's it. I don't know if I left anything out. I'm not an expert, but I did a lot of research the last few days. And um, I will be ordering a new tail shaft from Moyer.